Well, hello, everyone. Uh, just come off a, a great game watching the Clarks and Wolves uh, destroy the Persian Doughboys. And uh, uh, you had a great game, 30-plus uh, tonight. Uh, just really want to get your feedback, Foster. Uh, what is it like coming and having such a great game against a story program like Persian? Uh, you know, it's great to come in in, a, uh, in an atmosphere like this. You know, uh, my teammates did a real good, great job tonight. You know, our coaches put, in, put us in a position to win. And, uh, you know, coming in this kind of atmosphere against a, uh, a program like Persia, you know, it's great to go in there and uh, make some shots, get, uh, get a few open teammates. And it was, it was our team played uh, very well tonight. You did a great job. Coach Fife, you've been doing great things. Uh, state championship last year. We had another championship team, the Edison uh, Lady, uh, I forget their match up, but they play earlier. How do you keep your team grounded after having such a successful season and going into another season with so many high expectations? Well, it's just reminding them, reminding them our players, that they, they're wearing the bullseye. They're wearing the bullseye. Basically, we've, been, we've had the bullseye for a long time, and last year with the state championship, just added to it. Right, right. So, uh, but they had a good summer. They work hard, you know, without me having to coach them all the time. Sure. They know what they're up, up against. So. Right. It sounds like it's a lot of uh, leadership here. So what is it like having a great player like Foster uh, with the mental toughness he shows? How do you not expect everyone to be like that, or do you expect everyone to kind of be like the leader? You know, players like Foster don't come around very often. Sure. But, you know, when, when you get one like that, you're blessed. But our kids, you know, He's good with our kids. Our kids are good with him. And, you know, I, I, I say this a lot, but I mean, I truly mean it. He's as good a kid off the floor as he is on the floor. I can believe that. I can believe that. Boston, you and I were talking a little while ago about uh, that school in East Lansing you'd be headed to. They had a rough, rough day today. How do you celebrate your win but also think about, you know, your future team and what they're going through? Yeah, you know, uh, watching that game today, it was tough watching. Um, you know, to come in uh, tonight and take care of business with uh, the Clarkson team. You know, uh, I'll be in touch with the guys up in East Lansing. You know, uh, I know I know very well they'll figure it out tomorrow at practice. They'll get it. Coach Rizzo will uh, make sure that's figured out. So, yeah, uh, he will. You know, that's something I look forward to. You know, the, the intensity they bring every day. And, uh, you know, just getting better each and every day is something I've really taken. That's great. You don't want to go up tonight and run with the guys just to be with the guys? Uh, I, might, I, might, I, might let them, I might give them a day or two. Give them a day, the then you get with them. We got a couple other guys. We got Dylan here uh, from Hoop Scoops. He wants to ask a few questions, too. Uh, Foster, obviously, you're a very talented player. What skills will come up here to keep improving the most? Um, you know, continuing to uh, improve my strength, my uh, speed, athleticism, things like that. You know, a lot of stuff off the court, you know, uh, happens in the weight room, things like that. Uh, you know, and then just continuing, you know, you got to be in the gym every day, getting up shots, things like that, just to continue uh, making making plays. Uh, good about going to Michigan State, you know, uh, I think the group of guys there, the family atmosphere they have as a team, and, uh, you know, obviously Coach, coach is only the Hall of Fame coach. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't wait to get up there and play for him, but, uh, you know, while we're here, we definitely got business to take care of. Well, it's harder on him than it is us. I, I know it's very difficult for him, but uh, you know we're going to encourage him to work hard and try and get better this year because he's playing with good players here. That we've got good players, we got tall kids that can you know help him. So we just treat him just like any one of our players. To be honest with you, the expectation is still there to work hard. Who's next on the schedule, Coach? I don't know. Uh, I didn't look at I think in the North Farmington, maybe? North Farmington, and then I think maybe Hazel Park. Okay. Hazel Park coming up. Yeah, and Hazel Park has got number one ranking, right? Yeah, they're That's good. Right. Yeah, they're really good. Coach Pedro there. You guys have been great. Anything else you guys want to share? No, no Appreciate okay. you having us up here. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. Thank good you. luck. See you, Coach. Take care. Good luck, big boy.